He was the Houston Rockets summer league current head coach, Gary Jackson, but he'd be very familiar uh, in NBL circles, playing in NBL 1 everything, but this is a little different. How's your experience going? It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. This is my first year as a, a head coach. Uh, just for summer league, um, I've been a part of it for a few years now. But uh, being in that role is, is different and it's fun, and I think it'll help hopefully translate over. I think it'll make me a better assistant during the year. So just being in this role and doing something different. So, Jock Lindale, part of the Houston Rockets, yeah. you're close with Jock St. Mary's connection. Yeah. What's it been like to, to reconnect with him? It's been a lot of fun. It's cool. My uh, senior year at St. Mary's, Jock was a freshman, so I've known him for a long time. We've been friends. We've always stayed in touch. And it's fun coaching them. It's, it's fun to get to go to work and, and help somebody that you're, you're friends with. And you have a good relationship off the court. So that part's been easy. Um, great dude, having a lot of fun. So it's been good. News starting to leak out in Australia now with, with the boomers about to go to Paris. But Jack McVeigh reportedly agreeing to a, a non guaranteed two way deal with the Houston Rockets. There is talk that he would have been playing for you here in Summer League yeah. had he not made the boomers. But what do you know about Jack? Uh, I know he could shoot it. I heard he's a great guy. I was really looking forward to him coming with us and being on our roster. I was excited. Uh, me and Jock were actually following the NBL finals and all that stuff. He was going for United. I was going for Tassie since I played I played on the Northwest Coast. So we were like talking a lot of trash. And so I remember him hitting that shot. He's hit some big shots, had a lot of game winners. So we were like, we follow it because we both like care uh, about basketball down there. So. Um, yeah, I was bummed that he didn't come with us, but I was happy. I've never met him, but I was happy that he gets an opportunity. Anytime he gets an opportunity to represent, anytime anyone gets an opportunity to represent their country, that's really cool. So, Talk to us a little about uh, Aussie Hoops and NBL in general from um, when you were playing down in Northwest Tassie to now. You, we're seeing these opportunities arise for NBL players to get two-way deals, to get yeah. training camp invites. So it's just on another level. Yeah, I think it's cool because it's basically just guys being able to get their foot in the door. I think there's more than one way to get to the NBA. Like there's not like one clear cut path. And I think um, the NBL offers like a great pathway for that. Like guys can come over there, they can hoop, they could come in, they could be two way guys. They can go to summer league, invited to training camp. And just with the way the game is these days, like guys have like a legitimate shot and there's talent down there. So can't let you go with asking your favorite part about or favorite memory about being down in Tassie for a bit. Uh, honestly, the people. I still keep in touch with a lot of my friends down there. Um, I love Tassie. Um, I love the Northwest Coast. Even when I talk about uh, my time down there I, and how much I love Tassie, people they give me crap for it because it's Tassie. But I love it, and I, I had a lot of friends there. Um, so a beautiful place. I had a lot of fun. That was some of the most fun I've ever had playing basketball. So we appreciate your time. We love seeing you out here, and we can't wait to continue to follow your career as well. Yes, sir. Thank you.